Howdy folks, in today's video we'll be doing an autopsy of the flexible hoses from Sharkbite for the water heater connectors. Uh, those are the Sharkbite to the three quarter inch FIP connections that go to the water tank. And these are over six years old and the reason we're doing this autopsy is because, well I'll give you the long story short, is that about four months ago I started noticing black pieces of rubber in the water supply in the bathtub initially and I thought well probably the faucet there, uh, maybe the seals there are going, it is an older property after all but that was not it uh, the seals were fine there so uh, later on I discovered that this is actually happening throughout the house because uh, I had a little bit of reduced water pressure through the faucets removing the aerators showed there are black pieces of rubber as well and then ultimately I isolated that that it's coming from the hot water side not cold water side Aha, uh -huh, now we're going somewhere. So six years ago, over six years ago, when I had my water tank replaced, the plumber used these shark bite fittings when he replaced the water heater. And uh, inside of these steel braided uh, hoses, there is a rubber compound called EPDM. I did my research. Stands for ethylene propylene diene uh, monomer, uh, which is basically a synthetic compound rubber pieces. And depending on how chlorinated the water is in combination with the hot water temperature, um, that seems to be affecting and degrading the rubber that is inside those hoses. So that's what we'll be looking at here during this autopsy of those hoses. I'll also want to say something right up front. I already spoke with Sharkbite. Um, the greatest customer service I had to deal with called them, gave them the story. They already are aware of it. They already changed this model. So in the new ones, they're actually using a different compound. They send me the replacements, even though it's out of warranty. I didn't have to ask anything. I didn't even tell them I'm making this video. Uh, it was a quick conversation. Uh, and they said, no problem. We'll send you the replacement hoses. I already replaced place them problem solved. But out of curiosity, I wanted to actually do an autopsy on these and see how degraded that rubber is. So uh, we'll start with this hose here and then we'll go ahead and uh, proceed to the next one. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the cold water side first of the hose. And this is where the cold water side comes in uh, from the plumbing and then into the uh, three quarter inch FIP into the water heater. So we're in the side of the hose here and at least initially things look smooth more or less. So you'll see a few of the kind of what kind of looks like scratches like the black lines here right there um, at the top. Those are uh, just uh, marked because the white is kind of the minerals. Uh, the black scratcher things is actually, actually the camera as I'm navigating it, uh, navigating it in and out. That's kind of what I'm making those marks. So this is fine. The hose is still fairly smooth. In a few places we may see a dink or something like that, but um, no, nothing major. So far, let me straighten out the hose. Um, for the most part, fairly smooth going through this. A few things, looks like one spot here. But then coming toward the out part. Let's see here. We have a little bit of disintegration uh, coming uh, out uh, from the hose into the uh, hot water tank. Um, but that is just toward this end right here. You can see some disintegration here. So water goes through and obviously it is under pressure. So it is starting to make an impact right here. But I don't think this is the culprit. Uh, because now we'll take a look at the hot water side. Or at least the majority of the rubber that was coming off. Uh, probably was from the hot water side, not the cold water side. Okay, now that we have seen the cold water side, let's go ahead and take a look at the hot water side. And this is where the water is coming out from the hot water tank from the three quarter inch FIP connection. And it's going to be going to the shark bite fitting that connects to the rest of the plumbing. So here's the hot water side entrance. And we can see right away all this gunk. We don't see that smoothness that we did on the cold water side of things. Toward the end of it, we saw some uh, of that, but here we see it right away. So uh, what this indicates is that it's combination of the chlorinated water and uh, obviously the water pressure with the heat 
of the hot water side of things uh, that is uh, deteriorating this uh, rubber compound. Now, what's interesting is that um, my hot water is not set to be super hot like probably most of the households out there. Mine is set between the vacation and the first setting. Uh, so uh, probably those that have hotter water may have the results of this um, uh, degradation of the rubber sooner. As I said, we're at about six year mark. And we see either water or some remaining there or maybe some of that gunk is covering up a little bit of the lens. I'll move it a little bit here, just so if I can clear that. And probably the band is not helping much either. Okay. Okay, looks like we have some back of the visual. So we see all throughout the inside of the house, it is just disintegrating everywhere. And I don't know for how long you can keep using this hose before the inevitable happens. <laughs> Hopefully you never have to find out. But um, I was happy to get the replacements from Shark Bite and, repla and I replaced them right away uh, as soon as I got them. Um, they, uh, they sent me the replacement tool and I got that replaced right away because I don't know how much of that rubber can keep going before it actually will start leaking or if it will start leaking but I think we're close to the outside yeah here we go so um, I'm trying to get okay so that's kind of the outside that's it so now we can go back and look at some of the gunk one more time. And now since the lens is clear, we may get a little more visual on the way out. Oh, yeah, it's like even, even when it is coming out, you can see it. You can see it right here. You can see all of that is just disintegrating black rubber. So even though it is disintegrating, actually there's quite a bit of the thickness left. And this is uh, on the hot water side of things. So um, at least I wasn't anywhere near close to getting that completely gone. But as I said, I caught it uh, between when it started happening and replacement about four months or so. Uh, but um, yeah, the stainless steel uh, obviously does its job in holding it all together. But we can definitely see how all of this is slowly but it is disintegrating all right thanks for watching uh, hopefully this video was beneficial so if you're trying to find out what is causing this issue in your household if you have those shark bites well uh, now you may know um, as i mentioned earlier in 2012 a shark bite replaced the compound that they're using for the rubber linings assuming it's better it should last for more than hopefully six years for me in your area again may be different depending on how chlorinated your water is and also on uh, how hot the water is thanks everybody for watching hopefully you found this video beneficial take care